Thy exceeding great reward, a prayer of St. G. Nothing has been ventured, truly said, and we came upon the earth wanderers. The wanderings were of our feet and eyes and mind, but also of our soul. It was given to us to know good from evil whithersoever the devil had led us, so that freely chosen we stand now in the wilderness. And it is wild all about in the eyes and feet and mind and in the soul incurably. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Do we believe this? Then who shall be saved? There is a day when you shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus the Son, according to the gospel which he has left to us. Shall we teach ourselves? As it is written, there is none righteous, none that understands, none that seeks God, Thus it is that you entered the same wilderness to seek and to save us who were lost. Of the Holocaust, Viktor Frankl said that no one could survive else he found meaning to his life. Yet meaning is not inherent to us. Begin, be bold, and venture to be wise. But we were not wise, having only the appearance of it. In the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom does not know you. Toward wisdom were given nature and the teachings of lawgivers and prophets, but we did not attain to it. Your great wisdom is given to us by the cross and by the preaching of it, which those who are perishing call foolishness. Where did we suppose to receive it, to invent it? By our wisdom we fail to know you, despite your mighty works displayed for us. And so the very meekest, most righteous, most holy ever to wander the earth, spoke it, and it is to be received. We are promised that we shall hear it, and that your great desire is that every man on earth shall be saved. Had we rather to remain sensual, covetous, proud and wavered in all ways? We are against you at every turn. What boundaries have we? Oh yes, a lassitude of legs and eyes, will and spirit, but of all things upon the earth, it is the heart which is directed to you by your Holy Spirit. So we do not feed the mind, the eyes, the wandering and covetous spirit which is upon us. Great King, we venture into your presence, for there we have purpose and meaning, nowhere else. And not to play at the praying toward it, which is insolence toward you. There is a tide in the affairs of men. Omitted is bound in shallows and in miseries a full sea of them. O oh, dear brother, this was an ill beginning of the night, our placement on the earth in wandering. And which wandering Jew shall be followed, the mythical one which taunted Jesus on the cross, Cain which murdered his brother and forever was lost. What of Abraham called to a land that I will show thee, so that he knew not where, but did go departed from the moon, departed from Ur of the Chaldees, from home and kindred, to forsake his every current life and to go apart with God. Yes, this is what we are to do, for your call was to one alone. We are the same. Who else lives our life? Who is within our being? And to Abraham was said, I am thy exceeding great reward, and this to us as to all men who believe you. And there our wandering is done, for at the end the promised land. Amen.